Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today has been the absolute longest day. Right now it is 6.14 p.m. Baby and I are in the living room lounging. She had a little blowout today, my goodness. But today has just been the longest day in terms of like, there was so much little paperwork stuff that I had to do because my job sent me some paper that was... So there was a paperwork that I had to submit, fill out and submit really quickly tomorrow. I'm gonna have to call to see if they got it. If they didn't, I'm gonna have to figure out how to send it to them. Tomorrow would have had an appointment, but I no longer have the appointment because I got the paperwork sent out today. Um. So yeah, that's what I spent majority of the day doing today just paperwork 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 that was not very exciting but you know it's some things that you really have to get done i also washed some of mia, mia's lot of outfits because i don't know if i mentioned this before but she was born um on the smaller side weighing um small she was um she weighed four pounds and 10 ounces almost five pounds but because of her weight, she was wearing she's wearing preemie clothes, and so I just bought like two packs of of footy pajamas with four, and like one of my friends bought a set of um, regular onesies with the long sleeves and stuff like that, and so that's all I have that can fit her right now in preemie. I do not want to buy too much preemie things because I know that she's not gonna wear it for too long. She's a month this week. You know what I mean? Like, there's no point in stocking up on preemie clothes that she's already um, basically fully into because the ones that she has right now, she filled them out nicely. Who's calling me? What the hell is that? I'm now realizing that this camera battery needed to be charged and I have not done that in a while, okay? Um, today is Thursday. Don't even know what day it is. And I have a few things on the agenda today very loosely because i'm not sure that i'm going to be able to accomplish everything <coughs> bless me i'm currently um i pumped uh nine ounces earlier and so i dispensed them in first in the pitcher the pitcher's right there give me a minute it's too far from me first in the pitcher and then She's a grunter. And then I dispense them in her little bottles and put them in the fridge so bottles are always ready to go. I can just pop it in the bottle warmer and it's three and a half minutes and we're ready to go. Or what I would naturally do is like an hour before I know that it's her feeding time, I'll take it out and let it naturally um, cool down on its own. But also it's kind of the feeding time is a little all over the place with her because she could eat this time you're expecting her to get up at this time and she's like extra tired or like whatever and she just does not but um it's currently 8 36 a.m we woke up earlier she woke up earlier sometime after seven and i just straight away changed her diaper wiped her up for the morning and gave her a bottle of three ounces and now she's down so i'm inside here washing and sterilizing my pump parts and um i plugged up the motor section of my pump to charge and then I'm making some tea because my stomach hurts. But um, what I have on the agenda today is to go to the Walgreens to see if I can get some passport size photos for her. I already took some on my phone so I want to see if they're going to be able to print them. But also, I don't know that I should go now because um, my other daughter, Dijanae, she's supposed to also email me some passport size pictures so i really wanted to use the one stone to kill the two birds and maybe i'll wait until tomorrow because she's supposed to send me those today so we're gonna see um, let me remind her as we're on the topic good morning my love remember the passport size pictures for today so wear something nice that you're gonna feel comfortable in because those passport size fo photos are gonna last a couple of years you're gonna have to see them for a couple of years so when you go you're gonna ask them if um, when they take the picture, they could email it to me and I will give you my email. So we have to get that taken care of. I already spoke to her and my mom about that yesterday because I was searching through like my documents and stuff and the ones that I have of her are so old that she's so little on them. So 
so okay maybe I'll wait until tomorrow to do that I wanted to take Bob's on a little walk but not at the peak of the day where it's hot as balls outside I can't do that to her right now would have been a good time except she's sleeping 79 degrees right now oh, they said it's supposed to rain today but like later on 5 p.m. which is when I said I would have taken her on a walk they said it's supposed to be really windy at 3 p.m. so maybe like oh, 2 p.m. is only 90 degrees oh my god we gotta play this by air and see. See, the thing is, I would have loved to just take her outside for a walk to get some fresh air. Because yesterday morning, I did take her downstairs. I had to go meet my friend to collect something from her. And that was so great. She, You should see her little eyes are adjusting to outside. But I can't take her outside when it's extremely hot. I can't. So I'm really trying to figure it out. But this is a hot summer. So I don't really know. We'll see. But um, yeah. And I want to order some groceries. I would have gone to the grocery store, but however you take it, I would have tipped to the grocery man anyways for bringing this stuff all the way up here. The upside to going to the grocery store is I get to pick up my own stuff. But also, if it's going to be hot outside for the majority of the day and Bob's is sleeping right now, by the time Mia wakes up, it's already going to be hot as hell. Because right now it's 8 o'clock. If she sleeps until 10 or at least 11, she's probably going to sleep until 11. It's already going to be so hot outside. 85 degrees, I can't take her outside like that. I've had my cart growing for the last couple of days. So I'm going to see with the cart that I already have growing what I'm going to do. I'm also, I have some mac and cheese in the fridge. I'm going to eat that for breakfast. I have some curry chicken that her dad bought um, last night. I'll eat that for lunch and then I'll make something for dinner. But yeah. That's kind of the loose plans that I have for the day. It might not go as planned because, you know, sometimes it's just like that. So, yeah, washing bottles and everything and, like, putting them down to dry. I have one more bottle that I have to wash and um, basically sterilize, and then we're good. So we're going to pop these in the fridge, pop the milk pitcher back in the fridge. I love this milk pitcher. She's in there making noise. I wonder if she's okay. I love this milk pitcher. You, they said that the nighttime milk has... A hint of melatonin you mix the nighttime and the daytime milk in here together move the thing up and down to like really mix it together and then you pour it into the little bottles and that's been working out for us so far so love that for us hi guys finally charged my camera and did a lot of things i got something to eat um baby woke up from her second nap but i i had said from her first nap she's down for her second nap i had said that i was gonna walk to the dollar she put her in her little carrier but um, when she woke up, she wasn't really in the mood. She ended up waking up early. It was not great. Well, as we're on the topic, let me take out, take out her milk. I'm now realizing that I have not been pumping as often as I was pumping in the beginning. And I'm so bothered. But, like, I just have so much that goes on sometimes where it's like, it's that lactation tea that I had um, told you guys that I bought. This. I don't know if it was working, but I know that the body armor and it together did something. So I'm trying to repurchase the body armor and I still have a lot more of the tea. So I've taken her milk out so it could start um, naturally cooling down on its own and I'm gonna pump the next time she wakes up. I'm gonna put her on one and start pumping on the other one and stuff like that. Do I have the pump parts here? No, hold on. I have some stuff for her that I'm going to wash out, but I'm going to just wash them in the bathroom. I'm not even going to hook up um, the machine or anything. I'm going to just wash them quickly by hand because that's going to be way quicker and less back and forth, like with the machine and everything. Um, so yeah, I have them soaking right now. Not that they needed to soak or anything, but I just put them in, the, in some water. I ordered some groceries and I'm waiting for the person to deliver those. It looks like it's a man shopping my order. And it looks like he got everything so far because earlier he told me that he completed the shopping. So that's great. That's one less thing to worry about, you know, having some groceries inside here. Um, what else? I need to buy some water and a few other things on Target though because um, there's only one case of water underneath there. And it's hot and I go through water. So I need to get that trying to see what else I have to get. I have a $50 Target gift card though that I'm gonna use to purchase those things because I just got it from one of my coworkers. A nice congratulatory gift card, so that's great. So we're gonna use that. 
Um, baby is sleeping. I'm gonna try and do some editing while I wait for the groceries to come. Hopefully she doesn't wake up right as soon as he gets here. But, um, yeah. I mean, if she does, we're gonna have to figure it out, but I'm hoping she does not. I finally got rid of, hold on. Maybe I should pump now. Because I think it's been well over two hours, reminder. I have baby aspirin at Walgreens, but I don't need to take those anymore. I'm not on the baby aspirin anymore, but it appears my prescription still went there. So I don't know if I've showed you guys my breast pump before, but I'm using this Mom Med um, breast pump that was $100 on Amazon. I think it was on a bit of a sale when I did buy it, so love that for me. You basically just pop it in your bra and it's ready to go. I love how convenient it is. Has it been two hours return to order status? All right, so he should come with my order soon. It looks like it's gonna be delivered sooner than I had thought because it was saying something about four to five. I spent $285 on these groceries. I'm gonna get some good points on my on my credit card. It's the one good thing about spending $280 something dollars, but also the last time that I did buy groceries was when that week when I was going into labor, like a couple of days before. So it's been a month. So yeah, and I've also been trying to use out a lot of the stuff that were there because it's been stuff that's been there for a little minute. So I tried to do that this entire time too. So there's that. So that's really good. Let's start this. And I have this app called Baby Tracker that I use to track um, baby's progress with everything when she sleeps, when she eats, when she wakes, when I change her diaper, just all of the things. And I absolutely love it because sometimes I forgot when the last time was that I fed her. Sometimes I forget how long she's been sleeping for and stuff like that. So I just have to be very diligent about putting it in. It says the last time that I pumped was four hours ago. And it's blown me so bad because before I was pumping every two hours like clockwork. But now it's like I've fallen off or something. And I want to continue making milk. I don't want to get comfortable now that I have a stash in the refrigerator. Oh, the light down. So, um, yeah. I got to get it together. So I'm trying, I realize that I'm trying to be more diligent about like putting it on and like pumping and all of that. So yeah, so we're pumping, baby is sleeping, we're waiting for the groceries to be delivered. I have some clothes soaking. We have a lot going on right at the moment. So that's good. I have this recurring thought of doing her dad a favor and I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not really in the mood to do all of that right now, plus it's hot as hell. Some other time. 